Hello everyone, I'm Ola and this is Coding is for Girls. Last time I promised you that I will talk a little bit more about Python. And one of the things you requested is talking about while loops. I have this love-hate relationship with while loops in any programming language. On one hand, they are super useful in some situation. On other, they are very tricky sometimes and they might cause you some headaches. While statement in Python is an expression that allows you to repeat some code until some condition is not met anymore. The syntax of while loop looks as follows. While, expression, colon and the body where expression is anything in Python that is evaluated to true or false. In a way, while loop and for loops are very similar, because in both scenarios we are repeating some chunk of code many times. The difference between while and for loop is in the fact that in for loop we are doing some piece of code for every element in the list or set, but in case of while, we are repeating that over and over again, as long as condition is met. And I know that it might seem complicated right now, but worry not. I hope that it will be much clearer in a moment. Let's say we want a program that asks us a question and expects us to answer yes or no. And we want this program to be smart enough to know that if we responded with anything that is not yes or no, for example, if we type ola or one, then program will ask the question again and expect us to provide the answer once again. Let's open code editor and create a file called while.py. Let's start with writing a question we would like to ask in variable question. So let's type question equals are you Polish? Then we would like to specify possible answers. We will store them in variable possible answers in a list like this. So we will type possible answers, yes, no. Now what we want to do is to display the question. We can do that with print like this, print from question. And then we want to display all the possible answers which we store in the list. So we will need for loop here since we want to do something for each element in the list. And it will look like this. For possible answer in possible answers, print possible answer. Now we want to know what user responded. And we will store user provided value in an answer variable like this. Answer equals input and we'll have some greater than signs. OK, let's save and run in the console. Python free while.py. If we type yes, program finishes as expected. However, if we run the program again and we type ola instead of yes or no, the program stops again, which is wrong. What we really want to do here is to make sure that user responded in either yes or no. But how to do that? We will use while loop, obviously. Let's open while.py file again and drop this lines with a while loop statement. Let's type while answer not in possible answers. This will check if whether user typed is indeed either yes or no. Everything in this block will be repeated as long as the condition in while loop is true. Let's save and run in console. Python free while.py and we have an error. Python says that answer is not defined. And if we open our file again, we will indeed see that we put or assign some value to the answer only in line 9, whereas we tried to use it in line 4 for the first time. It's a little bit too early. We need to have some value first. One of the solution here is just copy-paste everything we have in while loop and copy that before the while, so at least once we assign a value to answer. But this is not good because we repeat the code. We could do better. And one of the solutions here is to make sure that the variables is somehow set. 
And what we can do in Python is set it to the empty value, which is none. So we kind of say to Python that we are aware that there is no value yet, but it will come later on. So don't panic, everything is under control. I prefer the second solution, so before while loop, I will simply write answer equals none. So none, as you remember, means that the value is empty. Now we can save and run it in the console again. Python 3 while.py. Now when we type Ola as an answer, the question will be repeated as we want it. Let's try something else, for example 1, and we will click enter. The same, we cannot go past this point. But if we now type no, the program will finish. This is very handy because this way you can ensure that user responded with some meaningful for you value. And if you made challenge number two in one of my previous video, and I will leave the link in the description below if you haven't seen that, you probably suspect how this might be very useful for this challenge. Okay, but I think we need more examples of while loops. And at the beginning of this video, I said that they are in a way very similar to for loop. And the thing is that every for loop you can translate into while loop. Unfortunately, the other way around is not true. Let's see how to do that. We will create a file called for to while.py and write a for loop we would like to translate into while first. And let's do something very simple. For example, for loop that prints a greeting for each person in the list. So we will start with defining the list of names. And let's say we will store it in variable called people. So we'll write people equals and in the list Rachel, Monica and Phoebe. Now we will write for person in people, colon, and then in a body we will print hi and then the name of the person and we'll use format method. So we'll have dot format person. If we run our program in the console, so we will type python3 for to while.py, we'll have three rows saying hi Rachel, Hi Monica and hi Phoebe. Okay, let's write the program that does pretty much the same but with the while loop. In case of for loop, we use the syntax for person in people. So we do stuff for every single element in the list. But in while loop, this syntax is not allowed. Okay, let's write the program that does exactly the same but using while loop. In case of for loop, what we did was iterating over people list. So we wrote for person in people and we did something for every single person in the list. But in while loop we can't do the same because this syntax is not allowed. In while we expect to have expression that evaluates to either true or false. But there is a way to do that, kind of manually. If you watched my video about lists, you might remember that every single element in the list has a special number index. So index is something that says what is an order of the list. So in this scenario, for example, the index 0 is for Rachel, Monica is under index 1 and Phoebe under index 2. So we always start from index 0. And idea of the index will be very useful here because inside the while loop we can just take the index and go step by step incrementing that. Let's say we will start with index 0. Then we would like to start our while loop. We would like to see if the index is not bigger than the length of the list. We use Python built-in function len to check how many elements list contains. So we type len and here the name of the list, people. Now inside, we will print our greeting. To fetch name of the person, we will type people from index. Okay, that's done. Let's delete for loop from the file and let's save and run in the console. Python 3 for to while.py. Uh oh, something is very, very bad. The program prints hi Rachel over and over again and keep working and working and doesn't want to stop. This is bad. And I think I need to kill the program using force. I will type Ctrl plus C to kill it completely. So what happened? Why program does not stop? 
The thing is, we fell into infinite loop. And let's look step by step what happens here to understand that better. At first, index is zero. And in the condition, in while, we are checking if that is lower than the number of people. And it is true because zero is lower than three. So we print hi and the name of the person under index zero. So that is Rachel. Now we finish the body of while loop. So we go back to while and we check the expression. But our index is still zero and it's still lower than three. So we go inside and print hi Rachel again. And then we go once again to while loop and check the condition, it's still zero. This is why we are repeating the same thing over and over again. Index is not changed over time. So to make our program work, we need to make sure that index is bigger every time we run through the body of the while loop. So what we just need to do is to index equals index plus one. Now in every step, we will increment our index and move forward in a list. So at first we start with index 0, which is lower than 3. So we print the first person in the list people. So we will print hi Rachel. Now we are incrementing index from 0 to 1. We go back to the condition in while loop. Now index is 1. 1 is still lower than 3. So we print, this time we take the person with the index 1, which is Monica. So we print hi Monica and increment the index. So now it is equal to. We go back to check the expression in while loop. Index is 2. 2 is still lower than 3. So we can print hi and now the person under index 2. So Phoebe. Finally, we increment index again, and now it is 3, and it's no longer lower than 3. So we no longer go inside the body of the while loop, and we can proceed with the rest of the program. Let's go back to our file and add the missing index incrementation. We will save and run in the console. This time it worked. We successfully translated for loop into what. This example was fun because I had the chance to show you why while loop is a little bit dangerous and with some small mistake we can end up in infinite loop. In this scenario, finding the problem and finding the mistake we did inside while loop was very easy. But very often when you use while loop and you have much more complicated code inside, you can find yourself in a really, really scary place. And to be fair, if you want to do something for every single element in a set or list, just use for loop. It's so much easier. But I also hope that with the first example, when the program forces you to provide one of the allowed values, yes or no, I showed you that there are also times when using while loop is much better choice and it's more natural. So if you are interested and you want to learn how to program with me, make sure to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned. Have a lovely day and see you!